Okay, I have held off long enough. I gotta show you how to navigate around inside your images and how to get around inside the different files that you'll have inside Photoshop. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna start off nice and simple uh, for you and then I'm gonna get things, uh, I'll, I'll sort of speed up as we go along and I'll get things really happening here for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by grabbing the zoom tool way down at the bottom of the toolbox, the little magnifying glass tool there. Go ahead and hit your Z key on your keyboard if you so wish. And now I have this zoom tool here and if I wanna zoom in on my image, all I need to do is simply single click on the area that I want to zoom in on. So say I want to zoom in on this sort of this gaping hole in the back of the barn, something like that, right? That's really all there is to it. It's pretty easy stuff. Now, once you're zoomed in, how the heck do you zoom back out? Well, what I'm going to do here is on the Mac side here, I'm going to hold down the option key on the window side, go ahead and hold down alt. And when you have that modifier key held down, either option or alt, you'll notice that the plus inside your cursor changes to a minus, suggesting that if you were to single click now with either alt or option held down, you would zoom out. Kind of cool. So Photoshop gives us tons of different ways to zoom in and out. This is probably the easiest way. Let's say I'm going to go after one of these windows here. Just single clicking on that area there will zoom me in. And of course, as I zoom in, I start to see those pixels. We talked about that earlier. I'll hold down option here on the Mac or alt on the window side. Single click to get me all the way back out. Kind of cool. Okay. Wonderful. This is one way to zoom in on my image. I'm just going to scroll up here a little bit and kind of recenter my, my drafty barn. Okay, is there another way to zoom in on my drafty barn? You betcha. There's tons of different ways. Let's say, for example, I want to zoom in on this right-hand window here. I could single click on it 50,000 times to zoom all the way in on it if I wanted to. Or what I could do is simply click and drag with the zoom tool. And before I let go, what happens here is as I click and drag, obviously, I draw out a rectangle of what I call, anyway, marching ants. So I now have these marching ants sort of surrounding my right-hand window. If I let go with my mouse, it snaps me right in on that rectangle, right in on that area. Pretty cool. You want to see that one more time? I'm going to hold down Option or Alt here, and I'll zoom all the way back out. Let's say, for example, this time I'm going to go after the left-hand window here, down in the foundation of the drafty barn. Once again, click and drag all the way around that object. Let go. Zoom all the way in. That's all there is to it. It's pretty easy. Pretty cool stuff. All right. Now, let me show you a couple of other things here. I'm going to zoom back out here, all the way back out, maybe something like that. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I want to show you some shortcuts here. I want to kind of speed it up a little bit. This is the slow way to zoom, by the way. I'm going to go back to my move tool inside my toolbox, the black arrow tool there. Let's say, for example, I want to zoom in on my image, but I don't want to switch off of the tool that I'm currently on, whether it's the move tool or, you know, any of the other tools that I have available to me. Give this a try. On the Mac side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the Command key and the Space Bar simultaneously. If you're on the Windows side, hold down the Control key and the Space Bar simultaneously. And your cursor switches to the Zoom tool, to the Magnifying Glass tool. As soon as you let go of your keyboard, you're back onto the black arrow tool, you're back onto the move tool. So holding down command and spacebar or control and spacebar there on the Windows side temporarily accesses the zoom tool. Does that make sense? This is what we call a toggle and it's a really awesome way to work. So in other words, I'm working along inside Photoshop doing my thing. I go, you know, I gotta zoom in on this guy. Control spacebar or command and spacebar, click and drag, zoom in on the area that I wanna work on, let go of my keyboard and then keep going to town on my image and then check this out. I now want to zoom out. So I'm going to go command and spacebar or control and spacebar there on the Windows side and then throw in option here on the Mac or alt on the Windows side. So now what I have held down is command spacebar and option here on the Mac at least or on the Windows side it's going to be control spacebar and alt. Don't let your hand cramp up on you <laughs> and then notice that the magnifying glass tool now has the minus inside it. Single click to zoom all the way back out. Something like that. Pretty cool. Let go of your keyboard, give your hand a rest and you're all the way back to the move tool. Very cool stuff. Okay, awesome. This is kind of a, a first look anyway at zooming in and out on your images. I've got a bunch of other things to show you and let's take a look at some additional zooming and navigation techniques coming up next.